One winter day, I happened to see a, an open house for a land trust house and uh, walked in and instantly I was like, wow, what an amazing house. And I see the price, wow. For the first time in that whole ordeal, we just had all this hope that maybe we could qualify for this house. They explained to me the various programs that were available. And when they talked about the land trust, it felt like that was the right place for me. And finally decided to go down and look at what homes were available. They took us out through seven houses that day, and it was the seventh house that we saw, and we fell in love with it, and that was the one that we wanted. And I looked at that house, and I saw this house, and when I walked in the door, I knew it was mine. And we saw one, decided, looks nice, let's go look at it. And this turns out to be our house. When we got our house, it was a complete surprise. We had our house in June. June 21st. One of the, the first things we discovered is that the neighborhood was filled with kids. And our kids had the entire neighborhood, two blocks of yards to play in. So that's how we found our, our land trust house. There's a, several components to the work of the land trust. A part of it, the work is focused on the individual family, those who are actually purchasing the homes and living in it, a very central part of our mission. The second equally important part is stabilizing communities and neighborhoods. We see those as two pieces of the same goal. We work with many different funders uh, to develop our properties. So this could be state, federal, local, private foundations, all contributing um, a portion towards the work that's needed to be done. When we develop a project such as the home that we're standing in, uh, those funds stay with the property to both lower the price but also to do the renovation work. You fix these old houses up and the best thing to do is gut them because then you can start fresh. It's nice to get clean wood to do something on. A lot of neighbors come in, they're always excited to see what we're doing and they're amazed on how far we take it. And the Land Trust did such a wonderful job of the new windows, new roof, new uh, mechanics, um, remodeled uh, a lot of the rooms. And so we were walking into a new house. We never had such a nice house. All of those funds that came in from the community that are invested in this home will continually be used to keep the home affordable for the future. Buying a home within this, the scope of the CLT uh, puts one in a position of investing in the future, not just their future, but the future of the community they choose to live in. One of the primary missions of the Community Land Trust is to help a family right now get into a home affordably but also to ensure that that home remains affordable for the future for the next family and the family after that. When the original family uh, purchases it, they income qualify, they live in the home for as long as they choose, and when they're ready to sell and move on to something else, then that home becomes again back through the land trust portfolio resold to another income eligible family. I like the idea that the house I purchased would always be available for lower moderate income individuals and families. And I like the fact that I, in buying my home, I would be investing in the future for other people to live in that same house. It would always be affordable. Even if I ever move out of this house and, and sell it, it stays affordable for the next family. And so that investment uh, really excited me that it's, it's not just benefiting my family, that this is a house that's gonna benefit people, uh, hopefully for generations. One of the most important pieces of, of having a stable home, of course, is an, is an affordable payment that you can make. Because the land trust homes, uh, renovated properties, are so energy efficient that they're very cost efficient to operate for our homeowners. It sets the homeowner up right from the get-go with a very high quality home that needs very minimal work. It's awesome. <laughs> I'm serious. It's, it's great because when we got our house, we had no idea that we could afford home ownership. We thought it was something that would happen when we were in our 40s. We would always rent. We just figured that would be the way it would be. And when we got into the land trust, we were shocked to find out that we could afford this and this was going to be our house. Land trust programs expand home ownership opportunities by providing 
quality, affordable homes at prices that uh, many people would not be able to afford otherwise. The affordability was really the big piece for me. I was paying rent and putting all my money into something that wasn't mine. I love North Minneapolis and I really like the fact that uh, the home I purchased could in fact be bought there and I could stay in the community I really care about. And the biggest reason we really wanted to move out here is it's close to town but it's also in the country uh, across the street. We don't have any homes, it's just a community garden and the Willard Munger bike trail it feels like home to us. We'll often go into a block and take the worst home on the block, a property that had been foreclosed, condemned, abandoned, blighted, um, and turn it into the nicest home on the block. We're here at uh, 1130 Fifth Avenue Southeast in Rochester, which is uh, one of the homes that we've recently completed uh, that's on the market now for sale. And it's a, a prototypical example of some of the uh, green criteria that we've implemented on all of our neighborhood stabilization program houses. We're trying to take it all into consideration from water conservation and uh, energy efficiency and materials, both recycled and um, uh, post-consumer content, to really understand what works the best. And if you have a dollar to spend, where is the best place to spend that dollar on energy efficiency and green building? We're always looking at the longest lifespan of our materials and our resources to make sure that our financial investment is as long-term as possible. And Land Trust bought these two homes next to each other and took them down to the frame and to the foundation and rebuilt them all according to green construction and uh, sustainable ideas. Both offer solar panels for the water heating. So it's not only an affordable house at purchase, it's an affordable house throughout the lifetime. The foreclosure rate among community land trusts is significantly lower than the foreclosure rate of market rate homeowners and we feel that's a real testament to uh, the work that community land trusts do here and around the country. I hear that a lot of people are real suspicious about uh, the land trust, especially with the idea of the land trust owning the land and, um, and, uh, and just how all that works and, and just wondering if it's a, if it's a gimmick and uh, it just isn't. There was no hidden fees or secrets or, you know, there was nothing left under the table. I walked into everything knowing exactly what I was going for and I got everything that, I got more than I could have ever imagined out of this place. There's a co-agreement with the CLT and there, there are no losses. It's win-win. Within the land trust we kind of have a feeling that that um, you know, we're supported. It's just like a normal anybody's house. It's not as if it's different. Um, our neighbors don't even know that we're in the land trust unless we tell them. I would want people to know that if they're interested they should check it out. Uh, they should really you know, research it, see if it is something that is a, a fit for their needs. You're gonna get a good home you're going to get good support. You, when you go to resell your house, they're there to help you. I just want to thank Northern Communities Land Trust and the, the people who are actually doing something in America for, for real people trying to survive. Uh, it's been the best option that's ever happened to us. The house is perfect. It's given us a lot more freedom in our life. I'm not kidding, even today I still drive up to the house. It's been almost 10 years now and I still go, this is mine. I'm not kidding. <laughs> it's always, it's just cool.